Hi, my name is John Wadsworth. Uh, I was in charge of the intro this week, and it was not my fault that it sucked. And Michael, that's not your line. You were supposed to say that. Um. Hi, my name is Michael Wadsworth. Uh, I'm a Ridge member, and I was in charge of the intro this week, and unfortunately, it fell through. Even though it, it seriously was not my fault. Michael, I, I'm you can't. It, the intro was my responsibility, and it wasn't my fault that it oh sucked. Okay, yeah. it's other people. But first, I would like to not apologize to some people. I'd like to not apologize to you. Okay, I'd like to not apologize to you. Okay. Oh, I'd like to right not apologize. I'm Cannon. I had the weekly highlight, and I failed. Cannon, this is about the intro, bro. You're not Michael. This, this oh, is yeah. Hi, my name is Michael Wadsworth, and oh, I can't do it! Miss Hargadon, I'm sorry. It might have maybe kind of been my fault a little bit, but uh, I'll try. I'll try better next time. There you go, Michael. Thank you, Michael. My name's Smith Snowden and I've been playing football for 12 years. I started playing football in first grade. Uh, something I've learned from football is just like, it's, a, it's really a team effort sport, so you, have, you can't really be selfish. And I think it teaches you a lot of commitment too as well, just because it is hard. It's a hard sport, it's, just, it's a lot of work, and just being able to commit to something is a really big thing in, in football, obviously, but in life. I am really proud of where I am right now just because the fact that it's always been a dream of mine to play at the next level and winning that state championship really felt amazing to me to win with uh, all my friends. I'm signed to the University of Utah. I'm so excited. It was, it was a dream school of mine growing up. I know I loved, I love all the teams in Utah, so BYU, Utah, Utah State, but at the end of the day I think Utah is the best opportunity for me and so I'm really excited to go there. That's always been an awesome goal of mine and so just going out there and Obviously playing football and then getting a good degree at the university is also a big goal of mine. Growing up, I, I have two older brothers who played football and my dad played football. Just I come from a football family, so just all my like mentors and people I look up to played football, so that's what really got me into it. Uh, something that kept me going was just, I, I, I obviously love the sport. It's, it's really fun and just being out there with all my friends is, is what makes it really worth like playing for as long as I have played it for. You look stressed today, are you okay? No. Can I go to the wellness room? Yes, let me get you a pass. Will Belcher turned his assignment in on time. Give that guy a talent ticket. Chinese yo-yo, lay it down, black side facing you, pick up your sticks, and roll it to your left, and start bringing them up and down to start gaining speed. Swing it over the stick and hit our string so it goes over. Okay. Now we'll grab this string with our other stick and pop it up. Now you have to get the cat's cradle.
practicing for Battle of the Bands on January 30th. Be there. Since the dawn of time, man has fought for dominance and territory. Oh. Through the ages, the Romans and the Greeks added pageantry and hostility to the fight. The Vikings added passion and integrity to the fight. Now, come see your Skyridge men on other caveman tradition this Friday and Saturday at American Fort High School. Welcome to Spill It or Fill It. The rules are simple. Two teachers go head to head answering some personal questions. They either spill it or have to fill it with some disgusting food. Ready? Let's go. Hey, I'm Mr. Francis. I'm an assistant principal here at Sky Ridge High School. I'm Mr. Wyatt. I as well. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Sky Ridge. And this is Spill It or Fill It. Who is your celebrity crush? It's, uh, it's Minnie Driver. That's my celebrity crush. Mr. Francis, what is your kiss count? Six. Six. Okay. Let's eat the dog food. Seven. <laughs> okay, you ready? Mr. Jed Francis. Oh. <laughs> Who did you vote for in the last election? easy. If you had to cut a high school sports team, what would it be? From a supervision standpoint, I love to go to them all. So I'm, I'm going to have to say none of them. But yeah, so I'll just, well, I, I can't cut one. So here we go. Cheers. That's hot. That's going to create some heartburn, but not with the teachers or coaches. So we're good. All right, Mr. Wyatt, last and final one. Who's a faculty member you would fire? Honestly, like, I can't answer that question because all of our Skyridge teachers are great. I wouldn't fire any of them. Is that an answer? No? There we go. Oh, you're bad. <laughs> Do it, Chad. There we go. It tastes like cat food. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Francis. <laughs> Is wall work better or worse than our last principal? I can't think very long on that one. I know he's better than our last principal. I'm Mr. Francis. I'm Mr. Wyatt. And this has been Spill It or, or Fill It. it.